Hey guys, Chris here for Toolman's Guitars and Basses. This is our 50th Guitar Tech Tips episode, and we have something special for you. In case you're new to the series, we normally show you how to fix and set up guitars and basses without using too many special tools. This time though, it's gonna be a little different. Our most requested video is how to level frets, how to do a fret leveling job. And uh, normally we didn't want to show this because it's just a step beyond a normal DIY sort of standard, right? Many things can go wrong. Gathering a lot of theoretical information is very useful for fret leveling, obviously, but it's like 50% of what you actually need. It's best if there's someone looking over your shoulder while you're doing it, or uh, you just take your time. And you need experience to have that feel for it because it's really delicate. In this case, I will walk you through my fret leveling. This is my bass and uh, the neck is sort of all right, but uh, some frets are just a little higher than the others. It was about time to do it actually. So uh, I thought why not filming it. So enjoy the footage. I will walk you through, but this is not a full on tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about whatever I did and wasn't really clear, but um, I warned you, <laughs> let's go. First things first, let's remove the strings. Before you start filing anything that's metal, it makes a lot of sense to cover the pickups, which are magnetic, obviously, and all these little metal parts would sort of gather around and on the pickup, which is really hard to remove and it's just not a good thing. So I'll use some tape. And the next thing you could tape is obviously the fretboard. If, um, if it's a, a fair wood, like maple, whatever it is, if it's um, lacquered or finished in any way, it's very important to protect it. You can tape it as well between the frets. I will show it on one fret, but um, I don't really do it on this base because, um, because it's um, a rosewood unfinished fretboard and um, you will clean the fretboards afterwards anyhow. I will pay attention not to scratch it, but um, with rosewood, you don't have to be that super, super careful. So this is how it would look if you do the whole thing. You only have the frets then uh, sort of uncovered and the rest is protected. Next thing to check is if the neck is straight. Before you start leveling anything, uh, you wanna make sure that the, the base is as good as it gets and there's no, um, you know, any weird curve going on. Um, that's what I did earlier. I'll check, I'll just double check it right now. And I think I mentioned this earlier that this looking down the neck is not always the best thing to do, especially if you just want to make sure that the string action is great. If you want to level the frets, that is something you really want to do because that gives you a very good idea of uh, how straight the neck actually is, right? So the combination of looking down the edge of the fretboard and proper rulers is uh, probably the safest way to go. That's something that a lot of uh, guitar techs and luthiers do. Uh, you can paint the top of the frets so that when you're leveling them, you will see which one is actually being filed already and which needs some more attention, right? So you wanna make sure that this uh, green, in my case green, color disappears on the top of all the frets. Now, let's grab the leveling tool. This is a type of leveling tool. You can get all kinds of straight edges. Um, there are some which already have the radius of the fretboard, which is of course very ideal and easy to use. It's like a bigger wood block or metal block with the radius and inside you put the sanding paper on there and you just go up and down the neck and you're good. Um, I'm just used to it. So I'll stick to this one, put on some fresh sanding paper. This neck support is not super ideal at all <laughs> for, for fret leveling. Uh, but that's all I have right now in the studio. What I will do is try to support the neck 
um, like from the ninth to the fourth fret with my full hand and I will try to be as subtle as possible. Like I let the weight of the uh, tool do the job and will not push on it because otherwise you would bend the neck obviously because it's pretty long, it's a base. So you can see already, there are some corners, some frets, like this one right here, still full on green. So the straight edge didn't touch it from here up until the edge, which means that this fret is definitely lower than uh, these two at least, but mainly lower than all of them. And if you look at this one, which was the problem zone on this neck, it's like way down already. So well, let's move on, needs a little more. That looks way better. Barely any green on the fourth fret, I mean on the end of the fourth fret. These few, like the, uh, what is it, 10th and 11th are like, eh. And what I did there is I held the uh, straight edge here at the back, not in the middle anymore, because I wanted to have more pressure on the higher register of the uh, fretboard than on the lower, because I'm really happy with this. I don't want to send the whole, <laughs> you know, fretboard away, I don't want to have a fretless base. I wanted to take care of this region, so I pushed it more at the back than at the front. So this way it stays leveled throughout the whole fretboard, but you sort of take away more material up here. I didn't cover the fretboard and it looks sort of nasty, <laughs> but that's just uh, sort of metal powder, really. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing at the end is uh, oiling the fretboard and rubbing it clean, which takes off all of this. This is looking pretty good already. Uh, I just wanna double check everything with the uh, little uh, fret rocker. And um, if all the frets are even, I can uh, take care of the fret crown and make it pretty. Cool. Now I'll grab a fret crowning file. Uh, they can look like this or like this. This one is great for jumbo frets. It's pretty wide, this little tunnel. Um, I have here something for a medium fret, so that's what I'm gonna be using here because these are not super wide. This is sort of like medium jumbos or whatever. So I'll, I'll try it with this. If it's too narrow, then I'll jump over to the other one, which is more for jumbos. Reflections help you a lot, actually. I don't wanna file the top of the frets anymore because I level them. I wanna keep that exact height. What I wanna do is narrow this flat uh, surface of the frets to some sort of a nice and round shape. Swap over to this next type of fret crowning file, which is uh, sort of cool. It's um, curved in a way, and you can also um, take care of the crowns where the body is, so you don't scratch the body, right? 
it's you can move away from all the finished surfaces and everything you would normally scratch. One more last check with the fret rocker. All right, let's make the frets pretty because they're pretty rough looking right now. Um, I have some old and used and dirty mash pads, which I only use for metal. I will just go over the frets from 1800 to um, it's like 8,000. And um, at the end, it's gonna look pretty much like super shiny, almost like stainless steel frets. All right, let's clean that poor old fretboard <laughs> and my fingers. I'll apply some uh, natural oil with which I just want to clean it first, right? So it's going to be totally black and dirty and whatever. I will apply it once or twice, maybe after that to protect the wood. That, that, that's the layer that can soak in. First is just to clean it. Mmm, delicious. Let's get rid of the rest of the dirt and uh, we can peel off. The pickup masking, we don't need that anymore. All that's left to do is put on new strings, of course, and I will have to check the nut. The overall fret height is a bit lower, so it might be that the, uh, the nut needs some filing and adjustment. Uh, we have a video on that, how you actually do it and check in and whatever, you'll see it now, but I explained it already. Check it out up here in the description box. Let's do it. Oh yeah, that's too high, that's still perfect. Yeah, rest is awesome. But this one is a little bit too high. It's like, I guess like half a millimeter, maybe even more. That's just too much, not necessary. So uh, I'll file the nut a little lower. It's perfect. Now let's go for a test ride. It's still unbelievable that it's the 50th episode of Ready. Um, it's been a hell of a ride. If you're new here, you have quite a long playlist to check out. And uh, if you're a regular viewer, thanks for all the support and thanks for watching the videos. And um, yeah, we keep on doing these and we hope you guys enjoy them. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. If you're new to this series, we normally take um, 
bits and pieces of famous songs and give you all the tools you need to hit the top. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lame! <laughs>